What's up guys, Chris VA Travels. I'm on the uh, mean streets of Fredericksburg. I'm headed to the Red Dragon Brewery. And um, gonna make a quick video. I'm headed to an art show being hosted by my mom. Ha! Stuff runs in the family. And uh, its theme is Fredericksburg past and present. And she's got a lot of paintings of just uh, historic Fredericksburg, old buildings and landmarks. So, I'm gonna take a quick walk through. What's the member number? <laughs> Our guys is slowing down, so I'll go ahead and do a walk around. Real quick, some swag over here. And pretty cool, they've got the whales emblem on their shirts. So, yeah, over here, oh, this is the little spread right here. So. Anyway, here are the uh, the paintings. A little painting of the uh, train bridge cro crossing the uh, Rappahannock. And over here is Holden Beach. That's in North Carolina. Another painting of the Rappahannock. And right here is the Wee Bridge in Scotland. And yeah, they do a little bit of traveling. So, and actually, this is a painting of a picture I took over at Mickey's Tavern over by Monticello out there in Charlottesville. And oh, yeah, that one sold actually. So, yeah, and this was some project she had to paint. She had to paint something with red in it. So, some lady with her lipstick. And yeah, Confederate Cemetery here. Established 1870. Uh, Confederate fallen here, all the battles in the Fredericksburg area, and the uh, the city docks. And uh, over here, I get my dad to uh, to describe all those. My dad's gonna describe some of these paintings. He's uh, one of my main resources here for uh, old school Fredericksburg. This is John Paul Jones house. It was a store at one time, but you know back then it was a store. And this is. Dugans used to be Sammy T's. Mm. Before Sammy T's Dugans is one of the uh, uh, okay. actually one of the roughest beer joints in town. Uh, uh, really? Okay. Huh. And then of course that's down on the corner of uh, William Street and Caroline. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When people drugstore came in across the street, they kind of ran them out of business. Uh, okay. So uh, you know, but yeah, that's been there since uh, I think the you know, 50s or 40s. In Paris Inn, that was where uh, black people weren't allowed in some of the restaurants and stuff was whites only. So they had they had their own uh, bar here. And some of the people from Quantico and AP Hill would come there, have a few drinks and get a plate. So uh, pretty rough place. So uh, right. yeah, that was their hangout, you know, right across the river. Of course it's not there anymore, it's just a big lot. That's where uh, Bummer, Bummer's Cab was. Uh, yeah, Bummer's Cab was there okay. now. Yeah. It's just a vacant lot. Uh, yeah, that's where that was. So. It's quite a landmark. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And uh, of course, this is the new version of the railroad tracks. It used to be level with the uh, the road. The railroad tracks used to be down. They had elevated up. It used to be level at one time with the road. Okay. Yeah. And that's uh, Chatham Manor, I think, in one of the canyons. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the uh, the Confederate Cemetery up there. And these are two brothers, I guess, kind of the Union and Confederate brothers. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I found a, found a picture somewhere. And had two different uniforms on, so we figured that you know they knew each other, or right, they right. Just, they might have posed for this brother picture or something. But uh, yeah, I think it says brothers on the little thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That's pretty neat. Yeah. Alright guys, that's it for the art show. 
Uh, if you saw anything in there that you're interested in, let me know. Uh, I'll get you set up. Anyway, so yeah, I'm out of here. See ya.